The Fornima Cumber Tariff was created in 1922 and it raised tariffs above the level set in 1913. Also, it allowed the president to raise or lower a different tariff rate by 50% in order to keep the cost of foreign goods coming into the U.S. high and the price of American-made goods being sold in the U.S. low. The tariff on foreign imports makes it harder for international trade to succeed because they need to raise the prices on their product to pay for the tariff and still make the same profit that they were originally on their product. This will make American people be more likely to buy the American-made good instead of the foreign import because the American-made good will be cheaper. Once the U.S. starts to raise the tariff on European imports, countries in Europe start to raise their tariffs on American imports. This isolates the American economy so that almost all to all business done in the U.S. is without European or other foreign influence. This connects to George Washington's ideas of isolationism. In George Washington's farewell address in 1796, he said, The nation which indulges toward another in habitual hatred or in a habitual fondness is in some degree a slave. By the U.S. removing its economy's reliance on foreigners to its own American people, the U.S. becomes in control of its own economy and not, quote, a slave to another country. This economic independence is exactly what George Washington would have wanted for the U.S., and the fact that one of the founding fathers, George Washington, would want this shows that, is, that it is a traditional and fundamental value that is, the nation is going to, back to. It is not something new or modern.